of your problems right now. Hello there. If you're new, welcome to the Thrive With Her podcast where we talk about all things mindset, wellness, and manifestation. If you know anything about the law of attraction or manifestation, you've probably heard a lot about affirmations, visualization, vision boards, journaling, scripting, all of these different techniques that so many people use to manifest their dreams into reality. The biggest misconception with the law of attraction, something that a lot of people make the mistake of doing, myself included, you are placing the importance and the manifestation power into the actual technique. That is such a huge mistake. Affirmations, things you write on paper, vision boards, visualization, those things have no power. Spells, magic, none of that actually has any power within itself. It's what it activates in you, how it makes you feel. Because when we look at the law of attraction and the law of assumption, they're just explanations of the more fundamental law, and that is the law of vibration, which states that the frequency that you're vibrating at is going to attract or repel things according to the frequency. So according to your vibration. What does that mean? It's how you feel. Your vibration is basically determined by your feelings and emotions. So yes, you can say, oh, I want to say my affirmations. I want to think better thoughts. Yes, the reason you are thinking better thoughts and the reason that that works is because thinking better thoughts has a different emotional reaction for you. So when you have a better emotional reaction to better thoughts, you feel better. So what happens when you feel better? Well, you attract better things because the negativity that you've attracted so far is because you were feeling negative. You were feeling depressed. You were feeling anxious. You were feeling sad. You can't possibly get yourself out of that kind of situation by continuing to think the same things, feel the same things, believe the same things. So all of these techniques within the law of attraction, they're just helping to remind you. They're just helping to keep you in check and remind you that all you have to do to manifest is feel differently than how you feel right now. So the feelings that you're currently feeling are manifesting your future. So with the law of attraction, with the law of assumption, with the law of vibration, it takes time and space because we are human beings and so we operate by the laws of the earth. We don't live in the moon. We don't live on Mars. We live on earth. Therefore, we have to follow the rules of earth. So while we can manifest instantly by changing our vibration, it takes time and persistence time and space for the things to actually physically come to us. So this is why a lot of people try using the law of attraction and they try their affirmations and they quit after a few days and then they don't see the results that they want and they think it doesn't work. When really they gave the power to the affirmation instead of understanding why the affirmation is manifesting. It's not because you said the words, it's because you saying those words has, makes you feel some type of way. And when you feel better than you've been feeling before, you're going to attract better than what you've been attracting before. This is why even the people that don't know about the law of attraction and the law of vibration, they can still use it because you don't have to know about it. You don't have to say affirmations. You don't have to actively try to manifest anything. If you're already operating under the law of vibration without knowing it, you are attracting using your emotions every day. You are probably just a positive person in general. You like to see the brighter side to situations. Even when challenges come, you, you find a positive side. You find a way to work through it. You have generally positive beliefs and thoughts every day. So you're naturally using these laws without even trying. And you're naturally manifesting without even trying. Now, the opposite can be true if you're stuck in like a negative loop of Bad things keep happening. Oh my gosh, just the worst luck. You just have the worst luck. Oh, your car broke down. Oh, and you ran a red light and a cop pulled you over because they caught you. Oh, and you were speeding and, and you just happened to get caught. You know how many people drive past the speed limit, like way faster than the speed limit every single day and don't get pulled over? 
(laughs) So why you? Why are you the one getting pulled over? What were you thinking in that moment when this was happening? Were you feeling sad or were you feeling happy? Okay, when I've gotten pulled over, the first time I was in a jolly good mood. So I got pulled over. The cop was like, you know what? I'm going to let you off with a warning. Even though I was not, I was, I was driving way faster than the speed limit. Like he probably could have taken me to jail if he wanted to. Um, But he was like, no, 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 all good. The second time I got pulled over, I was not in a good mood. I was rushing to go to school. I didn't even want to go to the class that day. This is in college. So I was going to like a college class and I didn't even want to go. I was rushing to go from somewhere else. I was in a bad mood. I was like anxious. What happens? I get pulled over. And keep in mind, I wasn't even driving that much faster than the first time I got pulled over. But the second time he was not giving me a break. He was like, I could take you to jail right now. Like when I tell you, I was like, no, I was crying. I was so sad. Um, I ended up like being okay. I didn't go to jail, but uh, he reacted to me in the way that I was feeling. The, the things that happened responded, okay? They were like, oh, she's in a really bad mood. She's vibrating at a low frequency. Bam, here you go. Here's more of that. So the universe, God, these laws of the, of the world, they're not they don't care like they don't care about you specifically like if you're feeling good if you're feeling bad they just respond to you accordingly so i know it's harder said than done to change your vibration but if you're actively trying even if it's just like a little bit better even if it's just that neutral even if you can't feel happy but you can just get back to that place of neutral or even if you're depressed and you can go from being depressed to being angry you're still raising your vibration I'm actually going to put in a photo here because I think it's so, so important for you to understand um, like the levels of the frequency. So even if you're feeling angry, that could still be a higher vibration than when you were feeling depressed because depression is a lower frequency than anger. So if you examine it and you think about where am I now? Am I feeling peaceful? Am I feeling annoyed? Am I feeling bored? Where am I now? What's the next level up? how can I get there? (laughs) Like, what do I need to do or what do I need to stop doing in order to feel that way? Or what perception do I need to change? What belief do I need to change? Ask yourself whether it's something you need to do, stop doing, something you need to remember, something you need to look for, an answer, a solution you need to be provided. Like, once you realize where you are now on the vibrational scale and the next level up, then you can actively start to get up get to the higher vibration little by little without oh you have to be happy no you don't have to go all the way to being happy and feeling enlightened it could just be one level up from wherever you are now and just by going one more level up you're going to get leveled up manifestations and remember it takes time so i know i addressed this earlier in this video but it does take time. So the things that you're seeing in your reality right now, you already manifested them in the past. So they're based off the past feelings and emotions manifested to today. So whatever you're thinking about now, it may take a while to manifest. And if you feel like your current mindset is more prosperous and abundant than what your current reality is, it simply means that your reality hasn't caught up And it just means that you need to stay persistent until you start to see those results because you will get it when you actively put in effort into becoming the happier, more up-leveled version of yourself, you will be rewarded. Uh, Those that try are rewarded, right? You see like the participation trophies that they give out. Like some people complain about that. I think it's fun because they tried, they get rewarded. That's really exemplary of life you don't always have to be the best of the best to get rewarded you just have to be the most persistent you have to want it the most you have to keep trying the most you have to be the most like confident or the most um persistent not confident more like persistent because even the people that are persistent some of them are not confident um, but they stay persistent anyways and that gets rewarded eventually If you love learning about this, I suggest subscribing and turning on the notifications button if you haven't already, because there's so many layers to the law of attraction, the law of assumption, the law of vibration, and it's something I'm so passionate about. Like, 
ugh, I just want to keep talking about it, but I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll say goodbye for now. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah. Thank you.